In the bustling offices of the Daily Planet, we find Clark Kent, the mild-mannered reporter. He seems to be caught in a moment of contemplation, staring at a single period on his computer screen. This tiny dot represents the first dimension, unchanging and constant. Much like Clark's own life steady and predictable with his home, job, family, and superhero identity. However, today is different. Clark feels a restlessness in his soul as he receives a telepathic message from Batman, urgently calling for his help. With swift thinking, he manages to quickly finish typing up his article and distracts his boss, Perry, long enough to make his exit. He's off to join the Justice League, fulfilling his duty as Superman and leaving behind his ordinary facade as Clark Kent at the Daily Planet. The Justice League urgently contacts Superman because they need his assistance to capture his most formidable adversary. The fifth-dimensional imp himself, Mr. Mixie is Spitlick. Mixie possesses unimaginable power and poses a significant threat. Despite his immense capabilities, deep down he isn't inherently evil, and Superman understands this. The League requires his help to deal with Mixie's potential havoc. However, as Superman begins explaining the situation, Mixie interrupts him claiming he already knows what they're facing. He reveals that the Legion of Doom is attempting to awaken and control the mother of the multiverse Perpetua, making the situation even more perilous. With an air of expertise, Mixia Spitlick provides the Justice League with a brief lesson on dimensions, emphasizing the complexities of the imminent danger. He explains to them that the first dimension is a single point. The second is a line, which he finds dull. The third dimension comprises all material existence, while the fourth is time. The fifth dimension, represented by imagination and Mixia Spitlick's home, is everywhere but invisible and intangible. Despite that, he emphasizes that it's dying and not the solution they seek. Instead, they must venture into the sixth dimension, the realm of unimagination, which is unimaginable in its nature. It is the place where the entire multiverse was created, serving as its control room. Only four beings are known to withstand living there the Monitor, the Anti-Monitor, the World Forger, and Perpetua. Their mission is to prevent Perpetua from resetting the multiverse to her desired state. However, there's a catch. Only one member of the Justice League is capable of enduring the sixth dimension. And naturally, it's Superman who appears dejectedly. Superman places his hands on his knees and instructs the Imp to proceed with opening the portal. Bats attempts to reason with his best friend, cautioning that they know nothing about the sixth dimension, and entering there would be reckless. Realizing they're running out of time and options, Batman reluctantly gives his approval for the Big Blue Boy Scout to proceed. Bruce acknowledges that Clark is even more stubborn than him. With the rest of the Justice League's approval, Mixius Fitlick expends the rest of his fifth-dimensional power to create a portal to the sixth dimension. The Man of Tomorrow bids farewell to his friends, assuring them that everything will be fine, and steps through the portal, which promptly closes behind him. After a short time, Superman returns expressing apologies for the extended absence. The world's greatest detective asks Martian Manhunter to verify Superman's identity, and he confirms that based on his readings, it is indeed Superman. Martian Manhunter brings them good news, explaining that although it seemed like mere seconds for them, for the past decade, our hero has been exploring the mysterious sixth dimension, diligently investigating every thread and possibility. After tireless searching, he has discovered a singular path that holds the key to saving the entire universe. With a newfound sense of purpose, he gathers a group of companions and informs them that he has modified the portal's energy signatures to match theirs, ensuring a safe journey through it. Within moments, they find themselves transported to a completely different place, where they encounter glimpses of their future selves. Superman shares the joyous news that they have already emerged victorious. He invites them inside to reveal exactly how this triumph occurred, revealing that he is not the same Superman they know from the Justice League. The true Superman is lost on a dark and distant planet, struggling to find his way and understand his surroundings. He realizes that the entire galaxy is a cunning trap designed specifically for him, tested countless times. Without sunlight and seemingly no escape, he refuses to accept this as the end. The words he spoke to Perry White earlier that morning echo in his mind reminding him that a single moment can shape the conclusion of a story. As uncertainty and danger loom, this could be the end of Superman's journey, leaving us all wondering about his fate.